StoryShots is proud to bring you this free audiobook summary. Do you want to get access to more free audiobook summaries like this? Subscribe and click the bell button now to get notified each time we upload a new summary. You can also download our free app and enjoy thousands of other summaries of best-selling nonfiction books that are available in text, audio, and animated formats. Story Shots book summary of how to talk to anyone. 92 little tricks for big success in relationships by Lael Lowndes. Introduction. When was the last time you found yourself lost for words? Do you clam up in social or work situations? How to talk to anyone is crammed with psychology-backed guidance on effective communication. Lowndes covers a range of communication types, verbal and nonverbal, for almost every possible context. Your approach should adapt depending on whom you are talking to and the specific context. So, How to Talk to Anyone offers guidance on how you can become a master communicator. As a master communicator, you can connect with others, irrespective of the environment. About Lael Lowndes Lael Lowndes is an internationally recognized communications expert. She has run communication seminars for major U.S. corporations, foreign governments, and the U.S. Peace Corps. Lowndes has appeared on hundreds of television and radio programs. She has authored 10 best-selling books on communications. These books have been published in over 26 foreign languages. Story Shot 1. Use your smile and your eyes for first impressions. Your appearance and movements form 80% of first impressions. In fact, studies suggest that emotional reactions occur in our brains before we have time to register a reaction to somebody. So. Use Lael Lowndes' tips to intrigue everyone through your first impressions. Lowndes advises against quick smiles. When interacting with somebody, start by looking at their face for a second and pausing. This pause will let you soak in their persona. You should then let out a big warm smile that floods across your face. Allow this flood to overflow into smiling with your eyes. While engaging with the flooding smile, Maintain eye contact to gain the respect of the other person. Specifically, this ability is associated with intelligence and abstract thinking. Lowndes's second technique builds on the importance of maintaining eye contact. She describes adopting sticky eyes. This means you should not break eye contact even after they have finished speaking. Once you have decided to break eye contact, do so slowly and reluctantly. This approach tells the other person you've understood the conversation and you respect them. When you are seeking romance, use what Lowndes calls epoxy eyes. If you are romantically interested in someone, maintain deep eye contact with them, even when they are not the person talking. If they are interested in you, keeping eye contact while they are a listener can be an effective aphrodisiac. In addition to awakening feelings of respect and affection, Maintaining strong eye contact gives you the impression of being an intelligent and abstract thinker. Lael Lowndes Story Shot 2. Excel at Small Talk Try not to worry too much about what you are saying, but attempt to match the mood of the audience. The easiest broad approach to take is ensuring your words will put people at ease. Doing this will help make you sound passionate. As long as your words are putting the audience at ease, you can focus more on the tone of what you are saying. 80% of your communication has nothing to do with your choice of words. When introducing people, always offer an exciting point for the conversation to flow from. Starting a conversation without any topic or point of interest may result in an uncomfortable situation. A word detective can identify their conversation partner's preferred topic by listening to every word said. You will become more appealing in others' minds if you learn how to keep the spotlight shining on them. Anything you say is fine as long as it is not complaining, rude, or unpleasant. Lael Lowndes. Story Shot 3. There's a better way to start a conversation. 
Always wear or carry something slightly unusual. Possessing these objects will immediately draw other people's attention towards you. Try to make small talk by commenting on other people's attire. Asking people you know to introduce you to others can immediately provide an icebreaker. Eavesdropping in group contexts is not rude. It shows curiosity. Don't be scared to eavesdrop on other conversations and say something like, excuse me, I couldn't help but overhear. If somebody asks you where you are from, avoid giving them a one-word answer. Use this as an opportunity to describe interesting parts of your life. Similarly, avoid one-word answers when somebody asks what you do for work. Embellish your answer with fascinating facts about your role, company, or job history. Story Shot 4. Don't ask, what do you do? Rather than asking the question, what do you do? Ask others how they spend most of their time. If you are asked what you do, avoid using the same stories about your personal life across conversations. Build up a bank of true stories that roll off your tongue. Story Shot 5. Make others feel special. A common mistake is immediately agreeing with another person. Instead of jumping in with me too, wait and listen. The other person will be influenced more by what you say if you wait to agree. Wherever possible, start sentences with the word you. This grabs your listener's attention. If you are meeting a group of people, greet each person with a distinct smile rather than smiling at the group in general. Story Shot 6. Deal with challenging conversations by repeating yourself. Never, ever make a joke at anyone else's expense. You may get some cheap laughs in the short term, but you will pay for this joke in the long run. Always consider the receiver of your news before throwing it out there. Ensure you deliver any news with appropriate emotions. Whenever someone persists in questioning you on an unwelcome subject, repeat your original reply. Use the same words in the same tone of voice. Hearing it again usually quiets them down. Story Shot 7. Tell a celebrity how their work has impacted you. When chatting with a celebrity, be mindful of how you approach them. Instead of complimenting their work, express how their work has impacted you and what insights you have gained from it. Avoid singling out past accomplishments and focus on more recent events to show you are up to date and not just starstruck. This can create a more meaningful conversation and show you are genuinely interested in their work. Story Shot 8. Show you understand other people's passions. Lounds describes the language of other professions as gobbledygook. Learn the minimal amount of information about a wide range of topics so you can sound like an insider. The most effective way of doing this is finding an insider to teach you some lingo. As well as learning some of the language within a profession, identify the hot issues within a field. Every industry has burning concerns that only specialist people will know about. Learn these hot issues, and you become infinitely more interesting. Read magazines about the industry you will be encountering to learn insider news. Story Shot 9. Make others feel you're like them. This is the end of Part 1 and the free shot of this book. Thanks for listening. Get the full text, infographic, animated video, and audiobook summary on the Story Shots app. What should our next book be? Suggest or vote it up using the Vote for New Books survey in the Story Shot. To dive into the details and support the author, order the full audiobook for free using the link in the description or the app. Did you like the lessons you learned here? Share to show you care or let us know by contacting us at support at getstoryshots.com. We'd love to hear from you. Did you like this audiobook summary? Click the like button now to support our channel. If you don't want to miss out on new free audiobook summaries, subscribe and click the bell button. You can also download our free app and enjoy thousands of other summaries of best-selling nonfiction books that are available in text, audio, and animated formats. Story Shots has been featured by Apple, Google, and The Guardian as one of the world's best reading and learning apps. 
Go to GetStoryShots.com and download the app today.